I'm waiting for you. She is the team leader. Sorry, who is it? Please speak out. Who is it, sorry? Alison. Alison, lovely, thank you. Robinson, I'm a team manager with Southern Water. Um, just a, a very quick update of your count. Um, yeah. Look at the issues you've been experiencing. So, just, uh, uh, Alison, I'll tell you what I've been experiencing, no problem. I have been experiencing incompetence, okay, ineptitude, bad, poor, very, very poor management, a badly run company, and um, quite frankly, this phone call is going to cost you around £150. Due to your incompetence, okay? Um, now, I'm a disabled person living alone, which I've told you many times. Um, I'm in a very small one bedroom flat, no bath, no boiler, nothing like that. So, um, how can I have used all this water and also two phone calls that were supposed to be returned to me weren't? That's going to cost you £50 a go. So, that's £100. And there's another £50 to come off the account. For what is it on here? It says uh, debt collection agency fee on the special letter. Okay, now how do these things happen and what sort of company are you running? Well, obviously, the debt collection agency fee is because the outstanding balance that we had on account must have been there for over 90 days without any payment. I couldn't give a monkey's. I agreed, I agreed with you to pay £22 a month. Okay, I missed a month when I was in hospital, or two months, something like that. We, we've done all that, we've been through all that, we don't need to do that again. Okay, now, you know, you people have seriously messed up. And, you know, you, you, you're stressing me out, because, you know, it's going to cost you money now, because you're causing me stress, you're wasting my time, um, you, you know, you're, you're causing me more and more stress every time this happens. You're not listening, no one takes any notice of the notes, no one rings you back, as promised twice. Uh, which is why I'm charging you £100 for that, the privilege of that. I'm not having it. You know, you've got to do better than this. You're a big company. I'm not having it. So um, I would suggest that uh, you get this sorted out on the double today. No weak excuses. No, I can't do that. No, Mr. Fob off. No, Mrs. Clock off. We've done all that. I'm very annoyed now. If you don't sort this out today, solicitor Monday morning, first thing for me. And I will take you to the cleaners. Okay, how dare you put a debt collection agency when we spoke last time and I was promised everything would be all right. What sort of tin pot outfit are you running there? You don't know because you haven't got an answer. Come on, Alison, you're in charge. No, no, sorry, Miss Nichols. What I'm trying to do is make thorough and accurate uh, record of your conversation. Yeah. To do I, 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 will, I will remind you that the, call, the calls are also recorded my end. This is going on YouTube. Because this is appalling. Well, Okay, no, no problem. This is for, this is for training purposes. This is for you people in the call centre that need training. Can I, can I just explain to you, Mr. Yeah, no, you can't. I'm a customer. What you can do, Alison, is you can listen. And you can sort this out. I'm not interested in your worries about being recorded. That isn't my problem. You've messed up. Now get this sorted out. That is up to you. Agreed by the person of the call recording. Well, you can stop recording my call at your end then. We advise you legally prior. I'm advising you legally. Well, I called, uh, well I'm, I'm, I'm afraid you mm. are going to put that on YouTube, isn't it? I'm, I'm afraid it's not acceptable, Mr. It'll go on more than YouTube, my love. It'll go, it'll go, it'll go all over the net, it'll go everywhere I can put it. That's it, yeah. Okay, and but what we're going to do, because I've, you've messed me about so many times now, is that I'm going to charge you £50 for every time you've done it. And it's three times now. Two calls that never came back to me, which you absolutely promised would do, and they should be in the notes. If, anyway, if no one's made a, uh, a note of that, then that's another, another show of incompetence. 
and how appalling the service is. So you need to get this sorted out. I wouldn't worry about recordings. They're the last thing you should be worrying about. You know, and if, if you want to take it to court, let's do it. I'll give you 50 pence a week. You all lose out, not me. Let's get this sorted out where I continue to pay you the £22 every month, which I'm happy to do. I'm very, very low user. I have to do the Okay, we've done all this. I've been through this so many times. Again. Nobody's listening. No one's listening. You're trotting out corporate company policy. I'm not interested. You are going to pay for these, for these cock-ups. Some of the rules are going to pay for them. Believe me, they are. You're going to credit £150 to my account today for all these cock-ups. You're going to put a letter in the post saying how sorry you are, and it will never happen again. And um, then we'll see if we can start again, start fresh. Because at the moment, you're not doing very well. I don't mind how long it takes you. I've got all day while I'm I sit at home all day. I'm, I'm barely mobile. I can't go out. I've got all day to sort this out. Right, okay. What well, I'm, I'm just originally going back, back is to the first for someone that was here before me, it certainly isn't me. It's absolutely outrageous how you can do this to people. Right, so the previous major reading was on the 29th of May. Yeah. And from the 29th of May up until the 8th of April 2016, you, you used 34 cubic metres. Right, okay. And how much is that? You know, it's important that you listen to what I'm saying because you know you've got to pay for your mistakes. It doesn't come free. You know you've you've really really messed up. But the, the meter reading that we have, uh, and I say, is, is an actual meter reading. It's not an estimator. Yeah. Um, so it's not going to be accurate. But it's actually going to be accurate. Yeah. Um, and uh, the 34 cubic meters. Um, let me just have a look. It should show me. Yeah, it should. Of course, it should. Right. So that's. Showing that you're, you're using on average 213 litres a day. A day? A day. 200 litres a day? Yeah. You're having a laugh. I, I, don't know, I don't know whether anybody else has gone through this. So what right, happens okay. is, is ask you some more for, for okay. validating. Can, can, can you see why I need some money back from you? Because all you're doing now is causing me stress. I don't want to go back in hospital. And have another stroke and be stressed up by all this because of someone's incompetence, okay? Now, if you're competent and you can get this sorted out, then that's all well and good. And the last thing you need to worry about is, is you know, being recorded. That's because if you're, if you're professional and competent, you've got no worries. You're going to make me happy. Right. So, there's four cubic metres in that period. So, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, you can ask whatever you want. You're I've got a, a, a wet room, no bath. So you've got a wet room and a shower. So do, do you know that on average, again, it's a wet room, so is that, that pump that you have? Pump? Sorry, I don't know what you said. Is, is, it, is it a power shower? Or yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, not, but it's, it's a normal electric shower. It's a, it's a high-end one, but it's not a power shower as such. And there's a whale pump to take the water away. So, you know, it's sort of maximum efficiency. So these sort of cock-ups just shouldn't happen. Oh, here comes my operative now. Back from the shop. Do you, do you have a dishwasher and, nope. and, a, and a washing machine? I've got a brand new washing machine, high efficiency, 30 degree washes. Hardly use it because there's only me here. You know, when I say I'm minimal... How many times, how many times would you use the washing machine in a week? In a week? Okay. In a week, twice maximum. And, and, and it's usually once, not twice. Is it, is it a separate toilet 
you know, with the energy efficient that it's got a um, um, house that will be, um, you know, you can do a full flush. Yes, 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 yeah, you can do half a, or for, uh, a, a quick flush on these. I doubt if it uses half a litre, it's so quick. You know, this is what I'm annoyed about because no one's looked at it and said, oh, maybe we are, we should be listening to it because we're getting it wrong. But you can't keep doing this to people, getting it wrong, and expect to not have to pay. You know, today you've got to pay. It's been an actual meeting, though, a meter reading, Mr. Cook. It's not an estimated reading. It's actual that's gone through your meter. That's what's even more worrying. So, so therefore, um, and, and you need to find whether everybody's gone through this with you, um, have they explained to you about a tap test and how we can identify whether there's a leak anywhere on your supply side to your property? I don't know if it's a leak, but you, whatever you have to do, you can do. That doesn't affect me, does it? That's, that's down to the water and water. That's not something I can help you with. No, the, the, the tap test is something that you can carry out tap to test. eliminate whether there's, a, there's a, a, a leak and it would need. Have you got an, an inter, internal stop valve? Uh, I expect so somewhere, but I don't know where. I've got my opera in here. Can you look into this thing? There was a stop, a stop button. Tap. Um, where else would it be? Won't be anywhere. Um, sometimes it's under your sink, um, it, you know, under your kitchen sink. Um, well, airing cupboard, that's about it. It wouldn't be anywhere else. Um, well, obviously, the, the kitchen, but sometimes not probably the kitchen sink, airing cupboard. Um, if you've got them, if you've got your main meters coming in, mine's actually near my uh, gas meter. I've got no gas. All I've got is electric and water. And you know, trust me, when I say I'm a low user, that is what I am. That's why this is so appalling that you, you know you've let this happen. You know, and the fact that you can even put on a letter and send to me, debt collection agency referral fee, you'll be giving me back that today. I can tell you that for sure. But before we before we do it, before we do anything, you know, you've got some front as a company to do things like that to people. And when people challenge you, you don't like it. Well, you can't record this, you can't do anything. We don't have to do that. Well, guess what? We can. You know, you've got to act now, as, as you've got to act professionally, and not... You even, so far, I've been treated like you're running a tin-pot outfit, incompetence, ineptitude, very badly run, no one calls you back. That's appalling. What have you got to say about that? I, I must have said, I apologise that that's been your experience, Mr. Eccles. Um... Uh, and, and if you, I can see that we've, we spoke to one of my colleagues on the 2nd of April. Yeah. Um, and I can see that she's had to send off several emails and we're waiting for... Waiting, yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting. Why is this, this yeah. how can this happen though? And, and, and I'm sure you can understand after what I've told you today, in the short time that we've spoken, 30 minutes or whatever it is, that you must realise by now that I'm a low user. You know, I've had this with the electric board as well, it isn't just you. But they understood now. And, and what is what I'm so angry about is that I agreed quite happily to pay you £22 a month, which, I can, which I've continued to do. And you've ignored all that. you just ignore it and then pass it to the debt collectors. Which is why that, that act alone is going to cost you £50 today. On the 5th of May 2016, that's £50 on my account. That's what we're going to do today. And then the, the two calls that never came back. Find the people who were meant to call me back, Alison, and sack them. They're no good. They're letting you down. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't agree with that, Mr. Eccles, unfortunately. So what, what, what could have gone wrong? The reasons why they, they, they might not have been able to call you back. But well, I want to know every possible detail of those reasons. Every possible thing that could have gone wrong, because I'm not leaving this. You know, we're going to go to town with this, Alison, and solicit a Monday morning if I have to, and believe me, I'll do it, and you will lose. Okay, so, buck up, break your ideas up, get this sorted out. If you haven't got the authority to do it, go and get someone else on the phone that can. Because today, we're going to find out why the calls never came back. That's what annoys me. I sit indoors waiting for telephone calls, when my operative can be taking me out shopping, in town or on the bus or the train or whatever. Oh no! I sit and waiting for you clowns. I had no intention of ringing me at all because the emails haven't done what they should do. That's not my problem. That's appalling service. So would you would you agree with that? Uh, I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Eccles. 
sorry. I, I, again, I sincerely apologise. It's not their service that we, we expect. No, it's not. It's so appalling. Do, do actually take the customer service very seriously. Right. Well, this, then, this, um, you know, this time it's gone wrong and we need to sort it out. You need to make me happy again. You know, I can carry on paying the £22 a month. I haven't got a problem with that. I'm happy with that. Even though I think it's a bit high because I don't use anything. What did you say I used every day? How many litres? From, from your bill that's been generated. Yeah. 232, um, 213 litres a day. 232, that's like, um, uh, it's like 115 two, two litre bottles of Coke or orange or whatever every day. That's ridiculous. How could I use that much? It's, it's quite easy to use that much, unfortunately. Mm. Um, it's not an, it isn't um, an extremely excessive amount to, to have used in a six month period. Um, but but you know, looking at the bill, I would say that balance brought forward or whatever it was, for whatever reason, I don't know. And I don't care anymore because of all the cock ups. You're going to see me right for that lot. You know, 95 pounds. I started off with a clean slate, 22 pounds a month. That's what we need to get back because today we need to catch up with the even keels. Okay, and um, we need to um, yeah, find the even keels, catch up with them, and then reset it all. So I'm paying you 22 pounds a month, which I'm happy to do. What I'm not happy about is all the cock ups. Okay, what we do need to do, Mr. Eccles, is eliminate. Yeah. That might, might be causing. If, you, if you're telling me that you, you use it very limited, I mean, just we, we do have a uh, standard averages that are supplied by. Mm. I understand all that, Alison. I'm not silly, you know. But, you know. You know and and as, as a single person with fresh and uh, waste water, we would be looking at um, 178 for one person. 178 litres per day, yeah. uh, which would be an average amount. So, what, what, you, what you're showing is not vastly above that. Uh, to, to me, that's shocking. I find that shocking. But, you know, it, it's all superfluous, really, to be honest. All that is. All I want to do is get my compensation and go back to paying £22 a month. And you don't have to keep writing to me or bringing me. I don't need letters all the time. I just pay what you want. You know, 22, or maybe we could up it a bit to say 25 to cover cover any debts, but there won't be any when we've cleared them all. You know, I'm happy, I'm happy to do whatever is reasonable in that respect, but you're not being reasonable. As a company, you've been completely incompetent, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. It's appalling. It's appalling. You know, what can you do to make me happy? How are you going to resolve this? Is always to get some real calls and find out. One, if you're saying that you've been overcharged, we need to find out yeah. whether or not there's an issue with a, a, a leak either yeah. internally or between uh, um, your supply side. Right, okay. um, and to do that, uh, we would need you to complete uh, what's called a stock tap test. Now, if you're telling me, um, is your disability, uh, are you not able to get to your meter? Is, is it, would that be a problem? I don't know where it is, I have no idea. Where is it? No idea. Is that on the street? Let me just see if we can find it. If it's got I wouldn't be able to get to it if it's in the street. I mean, I can, I can walk to the front door of the property and that's it, and I won't get in the wheelchair. That's as far as I can go. I assume it's in the street. What, what, I, what we can do, what, before we can, we can get an engineer, if you're, if you're not in a position that you're able to do that yourself. No, definitely not. The only, the only stipulation that we have, we, we have to know at first because we're not covered, the engineer is not coming covered to come in your property and is not covered no. to be able to turn off your inter internal stock cock. No, I can do that. Well, my, friend, my friend can do that. Right, so but, but do we know where that's like? Because that, that is one of the first validations that I need to do. One, do you know where it is and is it in good work in order? Is it something that you can actually turn your inter internal stock if it's in the area cupboard, which I suspect it is, it's not under the sink, then I can do that myself. You know, I can I can get out there and do that. But you know, like I said, this is pretty pretty much the purpose on my part, Alison. This is down to you. This is what happens at your end and what you lot do. You don't have to explain all that to me because it's nothing to do with me. You do whatever you have to do. You know, I'll fill in any silly form you want. If I can do it over the internet and send it to you like that, I can do that. You know, but I, I think that's unnecessary and uncalled for. And, Again, it's going back on what I'm ringing up for because the reason I'm ringing is that you're causing me stress, you're wasting my time, you know, you're costing me money, you know, this is the problem. What we need to find out is 
find out and then eliminate, obviously, Mr. Eccles. You're telling me that you hardly use your water. No. Um, then then it's, it's because it's slightly above normal uh, consumption for one person. We need to identify where the issue has occurred. Everything in here is, is new. Well, you know, everything is the, is of the utmost economy, and I mean, across the board, electricity, water, everything's brand new. When I moved in here, they completely refitted the flat out. And, and I'm not, I wouldn't dispute that in any way, Mr. Eccles, but what we then have to do is then find out and say whether, the only way we can determine that, whether there's a leak where on your uh, um, supply pipe to your property, uh, between your meter and your property, is, is to do what's called the stop tap test. Yeah. Um, and that, that would be to isolate. Firstly, the first part of it would be to uh, um, check your meter. Um, and you would need to make sure that no appliances were running um, and that no water was running. So you, you, obviously your, your washing machine wasn't running, um, none of your sink or your taps were running. Give it 15 minutes and check your uh, dial so you're confident there's nothing running in your property to see whether your, your dial on your meter is static. If your dial on your meter is static, then the next step is that. Well, you know, like I say, we haven't got access to the meter. You have. So a lot, of, a lot of what you're saying to me, I can't do anyway, even if I was fit and well. We're not allowed to mess around with the meters, they're your property, am I? I don't know where it is anyway. You know, as far as I know, it's in the street. It's where they did all the meters around this way some years ago. I lived half a mile up the road at that time, and they were, they were sinking meters into the street outside all the properties. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same here. And you're able, and it's working in a good working order, and you're able to stop it off. Yeah. And I can organise to get an engineer out to complete the uh, red tap test. Yeah. I'm, I'm all really good. I'm, I'm all really good with that. The only thing I'm not is these charges, you know, and, and the fact that you didn't call back before, nobody called back. You know, can I expect to ever hear from you again, Alison? Because at the moment, I'm thinking probably not. Your area. Putting fifty pound credit on your account is not going to resolve the issue. It is for me. It's no, but it's the underlying issue is that your water uh, uh, payment. You know, you can't just put, you can't put a charge on there saying debt collection agency reference fee, sorry referral fee. You can't do that and expect to get away with it. That's the point. It's nothing to do with meters or usage or anything like that. You're missing the point, Alison. You can't do that to people, and you're not doing it to me. That's going to cost you fifty pounds. That one alone is going to cost you fifty pounds. If I have to go to court to my solicitor to get the other, the two, other fifty-two, two lots of fifty pounds for not calling me back, wasting my time, making me sit indoors for two days, then you know you've got another thing coming. If you think I'm going to let it go, I'm not. So, so can I ask you from when I've looked on? So when was the agreed time that you're going to get called back, then, Mister Eccles? Well, normally the next day. I, I waited in. This has happened twice now. Right, so from the That's why it's going to cost you money. Right, so from the interaction history, just to confirm the dates that I've got, I, the last interaction I've got is on the 2nd of April, um, when my colleague Debbie took over the call. Um, oh, you spoke to an agent at 12.40. Yeah, we just went round and round the houses. We didn't get anyone. You know. yeah. Nobody's listening at your end. You know, No one's listening. I don't expect to hear anything from Southern Water once we, once this call's ended. If I do, I'll be amazed. I'm not expecting to. But believe me, these two, these three charges, they're sticking. They're not going to go away. You know, it doesn't matter. Whatever we do, we get, we get all the bills resolved, the payments sorted out. I'm happy to um, be as flexible as I can with you on that. But whatever happens, we're not going to forget about this £150, which is what it totals. Because you've wasted my time. You're wasting my money. I'm sitting indoors where I could have been out, and you know I've been in hospital again and had another minor stroke. I'm not doing this, you know. I'm not, I'm not having you wasting my time and making what's left of my life miserable as it is at these days any worse. You know what you've done is not acceptable, and it's no good you saying oh, we, we wouldn't do that. We don't normally do that. This time we're going to do it, and we're going to make everybody happy, your end and my end. And you're going to do what you're going to do the right thing, Alison. And you know. I don't know how long it takes. I don't mind how many calls we have to make, but that's what we're going to do. There's no way out of it. There's no way you can tell me we're not doing that because we are. It's simple. That's it. There's, you know, there's no other option. I want the money from you 
from messing me about wasting my time. Making me sit indoors for two bloody days, waiting for your calls to come back, they just didn't come. And they were never coming, were they? Because you've you already confirmed it on the system. Well, the emails may have got a bit confused. The people who should have got them may not have got them. You're going to pay me for that inconvenience. There's, right. no, there's no way out of it. Is that I can see that Debbie and my colleague have called for the call. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it was uh, the notes actually do clearly state on here. Mr. Eccles is happy to wait for a call back on Monday. That call, uh, the notes took place on the account on the second of April. The call never came. It never came. So that should have been the fourth. Mm. I'll just have a look. Okay. You know, what I'd like to do, Alison, is and that's about six o'clock, that's my dinner time to start going preparing for. I'd like to leave it with you, and whatever you can do, that's great. Come back to me Monday or whatever. You know, don't forget because I will go to the list on Monday if I don't hear. I'm really annoyed about it, as you can probably imagine. You've probably gathered that by now. I don't want any more bills with, with uh, referral charges on them. How dare you do that? I don't want any more. I want another bill with that removed, and I want the money that I've requested, which is a reasonable amount. Put it if you can, but I don't want to sell the phone on that tonight. I've got things to do, and my dinner is one of them. I can, I can appreciate that, Mr. Eccles. So, what I can do from my side going forward. Do you have a direct number? Okay, on. I don't have a direct number, I'm afraid. Another problem. All, I, all our customer sales at service and billing are all dealt with on the same floor. Yeah, to... yeah. Well, you know, like I say, whoever, whoever implemented that on the system, find them and sack them. Do your company a favour and open up the phone lines so everyone can use them. Because it's, you know, it's no good. I can read up and I, if I can't get hold of you again, do you understand? I've got to do it all again. This is, this is why I'm saying that the, the, the missed calls and the time of mine you've already wasted is £50 a time. You're going to pay for it because you're messing me about and you're wasting my time. If I could be guaranteed to get through to you again, that would be marvellous. How could we do that? Mr. Eccles, can I just, before you go, because I've just been, while I've been talking, I've been going through the interaction record. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually trying to contact you. Can I just confirm exactly that we've got the right contact numbers for yeah, you? Yeah, you should have two. I've got your mobile number. It's 0781881635. That's right, yeah. And your landline number is 0190341825. Uh, one nine nine three four one eight two three eight. Right. Do what you mobile or your landline have a voicemail service at all? Well, the landline does, but no messages were left. Right. So on the eighth, so did you get a, a, a voicemail service that was left on the on the eighth? No. Eight no. I've got voicemail on the landline is active, so people can leave a message. My mobile isn't because I don't see the point. If my mobile's not on. Or well, you know, if I'm not available, then there's no point in it. So it's just the landline's got a messaging service. Okay, it's just that I, I can see that the interaction notes that Debbie did leave on the eighth that she needed to make an extra call, and she tried to call customer uh, on the mobile no response um, or voicemail on either line. Um, we cannot find um, a call recording from Samantha Hollins. Um, uh, well, there's another problem. I'm sure. I'm sure that she didn't do. I'm sure that Debbie did nothing wrong. I don't blame the people in the call centre because I know how many how severe the restrictions on the system are with them. They're not really, they're just puppets. They can't do a lot, you know, and I'm aware of that, you know. So this is why I need to speak to someone. That's why I ask for you straight away because there's no point talking to them. We go around the houses, I'll have a go at them. It's not their fault. It's, un, it's not fair. You know, we need someone that can get this sorted. So what, what I need to find for myself, I mean, my, my Debbie isn't in at the moment. Right. Uh, right. It's not cause I want that, it's action. But you know, if I can, if I can leave it with you, Alison, that'd be great. Because you know, I don't, I don't want to get down and go at you, but you know, it's, this is not good enough, and it's, it's a very, you know, very, very badly run that call centre, and very poor management. You need to be working about to higher management to improve the company because it's appalling that these sort of things can happen. If I was fit and well, I would probably just put that in the bin and laugh. 
But I'm not. I look, I'm here all the time. I can't ignore letters like that. If I was fed well, believe me, I'd have just thought it out. And I'd have said to you, take me to court. Um, what day's tomorrow? Um, it's Friday. Any, any time after uh, about midday, I suppose. Right, after, after 12 o'clock. Well, hang on, what time's the doctor? What time? I've got doctors tomorrow, hang on a minute, let me just find out what time it is. Okay, now. I don't know, roughly. No. About 11, I think. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be afternoon time, I suppose. After, oh, no, it's not until 3 o'clock. Oh, is it 3 o'clock? Uh, yeah, uh, between 12 and 3 or thereafter. Oh, okay. I, I'm only one bit of doctors for long, I'll be out for about an hour. Right, okay. So, what, what I'll do, I'll, try, I'll, I'll rate the call back to 12, and in the meantime, I'll be able to speak to Debbie and, and see what we can do. With and speak to someone higher up, higher up in the company that, you know, you need to say to them, when we get unhappy customers, we don't want to be on watchdog explaining ourselves, we want to make them happy. And it's so easy to do it. You're, you're a huge company. The losses incurred from what I'm asking you for are nothing. And a goodwill gesture is a minimum you can do. You know, and you know, for messing me about, I can't sit in waiting for calls that don't come. You know, I don't sit here and ignore the phone. So, you know, I'll leave it with you. And I said, what time do you want to ring me tomorrow? My, my name's Alistair Robinson, and I, I will be ringing you around about 12 o'clock tomorrow. Right, okay, Alistair, that's lovely. Okay. okay. Thank you. Mr. Bye. Bye-bye. That's the water board for you. Absolutely hopeless. We haven't, even, we haven't even started with them yet. Keep, uh, stay tuned.